Welcome to this short video where we're looking at creating a helical feature in Solid Edge, but one that we're able to control via an angular dimension, which we cannot do using uh, the helix uh, command. Here's an example. So how do we create this in Solid Edge? Let's go and create a new part file. Initially, I will need a surface, and it would also be useful to control this part or generate this part via ordered uh, modeling, because I'd like to be able to perhaps change the angle at some later date, which will help update the feature. So step one is to create an internal uh, cylindrical surface for this helix. So we'll set a diameter on the circle for our extruded surface, and we'll bring it up by a couple of hundred mil as well. So that's step one, there's the inside of the feet, uh, inside of this model. Next thing to do is to create the path. In order to do that, we'll need a sketch. That sketch needs to be placed on a tangent plane that's on this surface. So we'll set, a, we'll set an angular value. And we want to be able to create this sketch line from the top of the model and along the x-axis. So we'll <coughs> we'll uh, we'll line the end of the line up with uh, with the or model origin. If that dashed line doesn't appear, if you try this, just make sure that in in Telesketch extensions is checked, which it's not by default. Let's set an angular value on that, something like twenty degrees. We can always change it later. So that's the angled line that controls the the angle of this uh, of this feature. In order to create that sweep, we need to project it onto our or yeah, project it onto our uh, onto the cylindrical surface so we can use the wrap sketch tool to do that. That's the surface we want to wrap it around and that's the sketch that we're going to use as the source for the uh, for the path. So now we have a, a 3D path. Next thing to do then is to create a cross section for our, our sweep and it would be useful in this instance to attach that to the top of the model so we'll throw in a few lines and then add in a couple of dimensions as well. So that uh, our sketch now is uh, is fully defined, and we can go ahead, turn off the surface, turn on the wrap sketch feature, and use those two features that we can see now to create our sweep. So here's our path, here's our cross section. There's the sweep, but clearly it's being as the cross section runs round the path, it's angling over. That's not what we want. This is also a good uh, a good reason to start with that extrude one. If I didn't have that internal surface that I created in, in step one, then uh, then I could have used or created a uh, a sketch line that ran along the z axis when I was drawing the cross section. But I don't need it because we've got the surface and we can use the center of that cylindrical surface as an axis to define for the uh, to stop the uh, the cross section from 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 angling over as it runs along the path now if we need to change the angle of the original feature we can dynamically edit sketch 1 change some of the values as we do that, you can see the sweep changes. And that's how we can create a, a helical feature that is controlled uh, via an angle in Solid Edge.